Hi everyone and welcome. This is one of my red wiggler bins and it was only four days ago that I came in here and I set this odd arrangement up. It was um, it was kind of an oddity for me in the beginning right from the get-go because the feeding that I was giving them was uh, pureed blended food which is normally not what my bins get. Normally I just take frozen vegetables, fruits, kitchen scraps, place them into the bins and that's the feeding. However, this time I decided I was going to try to blend up the food, make it into a, a really fine puree. And what I did was I laid down a whole bunch of these um, coffee filters into which I poured the material. You can see here a couple perforations I had just punched through there a couple days ago just to give worms easier access up into the food. And this is the food itself right here, this green um, puree of pineapple and cantaloupe and vegetables and all different sorts of stuff like that. So in a way I expected this to be teeming with worms cruising around within the material um, gobbling it off but they're not here and it made me wonder well where are they? Uh, and it isn't the way that I normally feed that's the main reason I just wanted to peek in here and see how things are progressing so over here too, this is just a fresh pile of castings. It looks like the worms must have come in here to eat the um, the material and left behind this huge wad of um, fresh castings right there. So I like it. It looks really good here too. A whole bunch of worms. So yeah, just gotta get down through this top layer of fresh casting material, and that's where the the worms are all hanging out. So. I was just, oops, there's the food. That's what it looks like. <laughs> it's not covered up. So it did seem like um, I thought that I would have to come in here and sort of blend this in with some uh, bedding material or with something and kind of help it along. But I, I think it's doing okay. I'm not going to concern myself with it right yet. Um, I, I did think that I might have to sort of mash it all up and blend it with leaves or something like that. But for now, I'm going to let it keep going. It does seem like it's doing the trick. I just wanted to make sure. Um, and I figured I would just roll the camera a little bit as long as we're checking in. But I got another bin just like this with a similar setup. So why don't we pop in there as well and see how that one's holding up. Bin number two. And this was set up a little bit different. I had more leftover um, filters at the end to cover up with. I was going to cover up with two and then I ended up with a third. It's like a nice little uh, bloom of mold growing right there. A little bit of fungus. This, this filter was already kind of beaten up. It had been used as a uh, feeding zone indicator. And you can see a whole lot of little mites. I'm not sure if you could see them on the camera, but they're all over the place cruising around. They really do seem to enjoy this. So maybe this is just in itself a reason to avoid doing things this way. Here too, look at that. Little mites hanging out on the um, liquefied food. Or actually, that's probably mold developing on the liquefied food, because here, as we peel back the paper, this is really the liquefied food here, this green stuff right here. Uh, here, too, I figured it would be filled with worms picking out on it, but I bet you they're right below. So why don't we give this thing its coverage back. Try to get this little loaf of food back into sort of a loaf shape at least have the top of it covered even though it's not really making much difference because there's a whole bunch of mites in here <laughs> I'm not going to worry too much about it I just want to get a peek at how things are going right below this if it's possible let's see if we can a little bit different here here I'm not finding a whole bunch of worms partying like we did in the other bin. Here we're finding almost quite the opposite as if it was scaring the worms away. Yeah, I'm 
almost the same deal here. So, interesting how it can be so different on two two bins that are set up so similarly to one another to one another. Now on this side I think we're seeing what we were hoping to see, which was you know worms enjoying the food, the bounty of a whole bunch of blended food on top. So that looks pretty good, but um, I believe in this case, rather than just leaving it to be as is, it just seems like too much of a mass of food. I think I'm going to blend in some leaves just to give it a little bit more of a kind of a filler, more of a base, something that the worms can cruise in between and uh, hopefully it'll help things aerate, aerate the whole setup a little bit. So I'm going to grab some leaves. I have a couple handfuls remaining here in my box. I think that's going to be just the right amount for this. But I do want to kind of overturn this food and blend it in a little bit with this leafy material. Here we've got a couple worms hanging out and enjoying it, it seems. It wasn't too bad. I only think this um, can help though. I think this is going to be beneficial. Kind of mix in a little bit of carbon because yeah it was basically just all fresh veggies and fruits and everything all blended up. I believe the worms need a, a little bit more of a balance. And here I think we're getting down to some of the previous feedings underneath that layer of blended food that we added four days ago okay well you know I, I think if we had just left things alone in the other bin it would have been just fine but if we had just left things here I think this food would not um, make much progress if we uh, checked in on it a few days from now so I'm hoping that this is going to help a little bit just boosting the uh, the balance of the food to be not all just uh, blended food, but a mixture with some bedding material as well. All right, and since we trashed those other two uh, feeding zone indicators that were in here, we're gonna upgrade, put a couple new filters on here just to show where the last feeding was. So, all right, cool. I'm glad I checked in on these because I'm just a little bit concerned that if uh, I hadn't, added that leaf material this bin could have gotten funky so all right everything looks good here so I'm very happy to see that and I'm glad we checked all right everyone thanks so much for tuning in to watch and uh, uh, before I go I just want to say thank you thank you for tagging along to watch my video and um, also definitely consider giving me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video I really appreciate that, and also consider subscribing to the channel. That's always really appreciated as well. All right, everyone, have a great day. Bye now.